Hey everybody, coming to you from my somewhat warm craft room today. And I figured I'd share a uh, process video with you for how I take a sketch and make a layout from it. Um, we were gonna be doing a zoom today, but I think everybody's dealing with the heat um, differently and some people don't have AC or whatever. So I figured I'm still working on my layout. I figured I'd show you what I do. So with my zooms, what I tend to do is send everybody a sketch ahead of time. This is the one that I'm going to be working from today. And um, I love these um, sketches because they've got all the dimensions on them, which is great. Then I will pick my pictures. I've already kind of pre-matted these. I'm continuing to work on my um, album from my Rhine River Cruise. And this is going to be one of those layouts. And then I went through my papers from the hope and kindness paper pack and pulled out because one of the nice things about this sketch is that all of these pieces are perfect for scraps little pieces um, nothing's bigger than really like a three by three and so it's great way to this is a, one of those kind of sketches that's great for using up your scraps you have of your paper and saving yourself some hassle and so I pulled out a bunch of scraps. I've already kind of cut them to size, but not completely. And then another thing I did is um, I used my circle cutter, my, um, the, the thin cuts, the circle thin cuts to cut this three inch circle. Um, one of the papers with the Hope and Kindness paper pack actually has um, four by six cards, the like kind of the picture of my life cards on the back side of it. So I took one of those cards and I used the thin cuts to cut this small, three inch circle from it, which I'm going to use. And then I also pre-cut my title using um, a, the block alphabet thin cut set. I've loved this set. I've been using it for years um, and uh, it's one of my favorites. So I've already got that kind of ready. So um, I'm just going to move, this is the sticker sheet. I'm going to kind of move this aside. So this Stripe, white stripe paper is from the coordinating cardstock that goes with the Hope and Kindness collection. And um, once I started, what I have a tendency to do is kind of what I've always called and talked to my group about dry fitting. So I'll take and I'll place the elements of my layout on my paper, get it down, kind of following the sketch here, and just to try to see how it looks to see if there's anything I need to add, change, whatever. And um, then from there, I'll work on updating it. So that's it right now. One of the things I think from looking at it, and this is kind of why I pulled out this additional color, this is the Harbor paper, is I'm gonna double mat my photo mat on the Harbor. It just gives it a little bit more of a pop so I am going to cut this. I'm gonna just get my trimmer out. I, some, with this, since it's already matted, I'm gonna just put this on and then I'll cut it from there. Just case it this down. I love this Mono Air from Tombow that we have. It just slides so nice and clean. And I'm just gonna align it. Give it a little bit of a mat, just not too much, about a quarter of an inch on all sides and then just grab my trimmer and cut the scraps away. And cut. Yeah, I like definitely the harbor double mat much better. So now I'm just gonna start assembling my layout. One thing I love about sketches is that they make it so easy to come together. Now, the way, if you're looking at this sketch, the top is a little bit more down from the top of the page than the bottom is, so I'm gonna put that as such. Line it up to that right edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna work my way down from the top. Tuck this in slightly, so I don't put it all. I don't put my adhesive all the way to the edge, and then 
this this piece tuck that in slightly there I'll bring my next piece tuck that in and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut the arrow point on my next piece of paper. Tuck that in. And then this piece. And then last, but never least, of course, is my circle for my title. And I'm going to tuck it that in right about there. There we go. And then I've got my pre-cut title. I've already put some of the 3D foam tape on the back of these pieces. So I can easily just peel it off and adhere it. That's one thing I love 3D foam tape. It just gives, you know, adding that little bit of extra dimension to a layout is a lot of fun. And I used black for this just because I had done the harbor and it was going to be so close to the title piece. I didn't want to do harbor again. I wanted a color that would kind of jump out. And then I've, I'm using some of the die cuts from the coordinating die cut set from the open kindness paper now let's take this one and I, again i'm using 3d foam tape i put some, a few pieces on the back side of these pardon my no fingernails right now they've all seemed to be breaking again <laughs> just when they get nice and long they all break so just take this down and one more backing That. And then I'm going to add just a few little clear sparkles just to add a little bit of bling. That's me. I definitely, people that know me know I like the bling. Adds a little bit of extra something to the layouts. And I tend to do them in groups of three out of habit. And my basic layout, I'm going to and I, what I've done is I've cut some white daisy into three inch by um, one quarter inch strips and I am going to just add them down along here. Very simple, just a few lines about where it was that we went out to dinner and um, what food we had. So I'm just going to adhere these here and then I'll write my journaling on them. and that will be the layout. So there's my layout from today's sketch from my scrapbook with me event. Um, if you can't, couldn't join me today for it, I hope you can join me at um, another date. And um, I hope to see, I do these on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I, if you couldn't make it this week, I hope to see you next week. Have a wonderful day and, and stay cool with the heat.